Ghana's love funeral, and it's, it's voluntary. For example, if there's a funeral here, we'll make an announcement. There's a bus. We are in Kumasi. We are in Kumasi. We are in Kumasi. That's what we're Kumasi. We can go to uh, Bongori. The, the Kente is there. People are selling Kente. They sell at Sanders. When you go there, you spend the money. We are buying them free. When we go to that area, from, from there, there are restaurants and truck bars. They go and sit down there and eat. They buy water. They buy artifacts. They are enriching the rural economy by providing jobs. So you are, you are becoming funeral contractors. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you want to say we are encouraging people to take advantage of funerals to explore tourist attractions and to deepen the cultural assets. They were getting those funds. Finally, when the COVID came, you know, the tourist sector was one of the most hit sectors around the country and the world. And the people couldn't travel, uh, restaurants couldn't pay, uh, the demand standards couldn't do, restaurants, uh, hotels couldn't pay. So they were down. People had to leave even to staff. So, President, uh, President Excellent Staff Fuadu approved uh, 10 million, 2021, 20, 20, 20, That money was spent to support people in the act sector. Whether you had restaurants or not, you apply, just buy it, and they will give money to get back to yourself. Either a restaurant or upgrade hotels or those who are in the small business of uh, tourism and culture. So give them as grants and they, they actually came back to clean, employed more people and retained their staff and also able to buy raw material to continue. That is why Ghana, the recovery of post recovery tourism was 81% against the Africa average of uh, uh, 65%. We are the big, that's why we moved from number three as the most important tourist attraction was up to number one. Because of what the president support, how the president support the tourism sector, one by 81 percent recovery, and by the end of this year, we hope have 100 percent recovery. We are expecting to do 1.2 million international arrivals and 1.4 million domestic tourism.